The biggest day in the history of Linux since it linked up with GNU is here. NVIDIA has finally decided to open source their GPU kernel modules. Now let me break down what that means in case this sounds like Greek to you. When you install a Linux distro to your system and you have an NVIDIA card, like most people out there, you previously had two options. You could either install the proprietary driver which works, but you're still going to have screen tearing on Xorg systems and basically no compatibility at all with Wayland. And also on most systems, the proprietary NVIDIA driver is the only proprietary blob that is getting built into your kernel, which prevents you from having a fully open source OS, which can also be seen as a security concern by some people. And while I'm not that strongly against proprietary software, it's still really annoying having proprietary blobs running at ring zero built into my kernel. The only other option for NVIDIA drivers was Nuvo, which is kind of like a reverse engineer driver that's made for NVIDIA cards created by volunteers with no help from NVIDIA at all. And the result is that this driver performs pretty terribly, if at all, with newer hardware. You basically have to go all the way back to the GTX 750 to find a card that actually performs well with this driver. This history of NVIDIA being uncooperative with open source projects like Linux is the reason why Linus Trevalds, the creator of Linux said, oh, NVIDIA, fuck you. <laughs> And I have to take a moment to give AMD some credit because they're still the best choice for graphics cards on Linux. And their open source drivers have been open source for over 10 years. The entire software stack for AMD has been open source and thus that's the reason why it was and still is the best choice for video card hardware on Linux. But now that Nvidia is starting to open source their driver, there's actually going to be some real video card competition in the Linux space, which is great because last generation's cards were actually comparable in performance, at least for gaming. In fact, the 6900 XT by AMD beats the 3090 in price to performance in gaming workloads since it averages just a few FPS slower in some games, but is about 30% cheaper. Now, before you pop open a champagne bottle and you go out to purchase yourself two 3090 Ti's to put inside of your Arch Linux gaming box and pull a two week gaming binge, there's a few things that you should know about this announcement. First of all, the entire driver is not actually open sourced yet. In fact, the code that supports things like display, you know, the most basic thing that you would need for gaming, isn't complete or fully tested yet. Their firmware and their user space software is remaining closed source, at least for now. All that's really available right now are the kernel modules. You can find them on GitHub under NVIDIA's page titled Open GPU Kernel Modules. And this code is in a very, very early alpha stage. There's a lot of testing that's going to have to be done. And we are ways off before functional open source drivers will be included with something like Linux Mint, which would make it very available to beginners. Also, this open source driver, it only supports NVIDIA's Turing GPUs and newer. So if you're someone like me who only has video cards older than the 20 series, I have a 1080 Ti and a GTX 970, I'm not even able to use these drivers. So I wouldn't hold your breath on this driver being usable for those cards anytime soon because it's very clear that NVIDIA is going to be more focused on their newer cards instead of the older ones. And even if you do have a 20 series or a 30 series NVIDIA card and you compile the open source driver and you use it in place of the proprietary binary right now, you're most likely going to see much worse performance if it works at all. Because like I said, display isn't even fully tested yet compared to the proprietary binary that we already have. So there's a whole lot of testing that needs to take place before this driver can be recommended above the proprietary one, especially to desktop Linux users. 
And right now, a good deal of the commits that are being made so far to this repo, it's just people fixing spelling and grammar mistakes. I mean, that stuff is important, don't get me wrong, but there's been no serious technical patches that have made, been made just yet. Uh, and of course, there's people having a laugh, like big fat Harry Gamer, who wants NVIDIA to use gender inclusive language in the code, because God forbid somebody sees words like poor man. No, 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 let's change that to poor person. Very, very important. Uh, and then there's also an issue like this, which just got closed to port the driver to Holy See and Temple OS. Something tells me that this person is one of you guys. Now, this would be pretty cool to use a 3090 on God's software temple, but Temple OS, it doesn't even support PCI in the first place. But open sourcing these drivers could be beneficial to other operating systems like the BSD family. FreeBSD also gives you the option of using the proprietary NVIDIA driver binary, but I have a feeling once enough testing and bug fixes are done to this code that the open source driver will bring a much needed performance boost to gaming both on Linux and FreeBSD. And it will especially bring a performance boost to a lot more workloads outside of gaming, especially in the enterprise server space and machine learning space. This new out of tree open source kernel driver has already been tested to support CUDA use cases on data center GPUs. And I think that that is the real reason why NVIDIA went ahead and gave us this source code because NVIDIA has been losing ground to AMD in this area of computing, this enterprise space. In fact, AMD has been beating both NVIDIA and Intel in the space of enterprise hardware. That's part of the reason why I built my new workstation with a Threadripper instead of a Xeon or high-end Intel CPU because AMD is just better. Now, I have heard a lot of speculation from people that this driver release is actually NVIDIA complying with the demands of the hacker gang Lapsus, who hacked NVIDIA two months ago, and they demanded that they release all of their driver source code under a FOSS license as part of their demand to prevent them from releasing the one terabyte of data that Lapsus had stolen from NVIDIA. But I highly doubt that this has anything to do with NVIDIA's decision because compliance with that demand was never actually met. We don't have the full software stack like we do with AMD and all of the code except when it is linked together to form a Linux kernel module is under an MIT license, which is not actually FOSS. But let's remain positive here. This is really huge for Novu, those devs are probably bouncing up and down celebrating this because they've already got the user land stuff open sourced with Mesa. So what I'm looking forward to the most are the Novu devs making serious improvements on their open source driver and getting it to work decently on newer hardware, even if it was 10% worse than NVIDIA's proprietary driver, I would probably make the switch to that just so that I could have a fully open source Linux kernel running on my system. And then now that I think about it, I wouldn't really have any closed source software on my system at all, except for games. You know, I still like to play some games from time to time and I don't see the devs of Noita <laughs> open sourcing that anytime soon, but that's fine. I, I, I don't feel sketched out running closed source games on my system personally. If you do, hey, that's on you. You don't have to run games on your system. And I guess that there is hope that NVIDIA will fully open source their driver eventually, but I wouldn't hold my breath on that one either. But ladies and gentlemen, I am officially declaring this the summer of Linux. This is the biggest victory that we have had in a long time. Like and comment to hack the algorithm. Follow me on Odyssey and have a great day.